Hi, I'm Lily, and welcome back to the Florida Native Plant Society's Terminology Tuesday. Last week, we defined the term biodiversity, and this week, we're going to begin talking about why biodiversity is so important. So because this is such an expansive topic with many different facets, I'm going to be discussing it through several different episodes. But today we're going to focus on why biodiversity within an ecosystem is so critical. So within an ecosystem, each species has a role or several roles to play. And those species all rely upon each other for those roles. Those roles include nutrient cycling, energy transfer, pollination, decomposition, filtration and sequestration of water, all sorts of different roles that different species play. In healthy functioning ecosystems, there's often redundancy within those roles. So multiple species may be performing the same exact role. That redundancy is important because when a species is lost and we know we're losing species at an unprecedented rate in recorded history, um, there is another species that can fill that role for, for the ecosystem. There's an analogy and a hypothesis in ecology called the Jenga hypothesis, like the game Jenga, about how to view the role of different species within an ecosystem. And um, we know the game of Jenga, every single block in that game, in that tower of blocks, has a role to fill and hold, holding up that stand of blocks, except for the ones at the very top. And so you can remove certain species, each species representing a block in the game, right? And that changes the relative importance of all of the other species. As we begin to lose species in our ecosystems, which are happening now, the importance of the remaining species becomes much greater. And if we lose too many species, the, the Jenga tower falls. That means ecosystems collapse. And so each species has a role to play and that diversity of species and redundancy within the roles that they're playing is critical for the health and resilience of that, of that ecosystem. And ecosystems are facing unprecedented, you know, stressors like climate change. One way for us to envision that Jenga hypothesis is to um, think of a certain plant species that might have three pollinators, for instance. There are three insect species that are pollinating this one plant. And we lose one, there are two still remaining that are still pollinating those plants. But those two become even more critical because without them, the plant won't be able to reproduce. So if we lose another and then eventually another, that plant is incapable of producing seeds and it becomes essentially functionally extinct and will be lost. And how many species rely specifically on that plant? There could be several species like a butterfly, for instance, that uses that plant as its larval food host. And if it only uses that plant and we lose that plant, then we also lose the butterflies. So you can see how everything is so interconnected that it can be even hard for us to understand or comprehend how the loss of one species will have rippling effects in the future in an ecosystem. Thanks for joining us today to learn a little bit more about biodiversity and why it's important. The Florida Native Plant Society helps support Florida biodiversity, and we are currently fundraising for our annual fundraiser. So if you have the means to donate, please check out our website at fmps.org and donate. Next week, I will be taking off for the holidays, but we will be coming back the following week in January and the new year to talk about why biodiversity is so important to human beings.